Welcome back guys to my new video on O level biology. Okay, so today we will be discussing about on the various classification of microorganisms. Okay, uh, first of all you have to understand what do you mean by microorganisms. Microorganisms are living organisms. Okay, that cannot be seen through naked eye. You have to see them microscope. Okay, you can use a normal microscope or you can use electron mi microscope. Understood? Clear. So first of all, uh, there are five groups of you can say microorganisms okay this is your protozoa this is virus algae this is fungi and bacteria okay so today we will be looking at how they differ structurally and as a result they are classified differently okay all of them are microorganisms but due to the difference in their structure cell structure classified differently all right so first of all let's go for protozoa Okay, let's draw the structure of protozoa. Okay, uh, what do you know about protozoa? Protozoa are single cell microorganisms. Okay, they are single cell microorganisms, and one of the famous example of uh, protozoa is amoeba. We all of us we know about amoeba. Okay, we heard about amoeba, but what is an amoeba? Amoeba is neither a bacteria nor a fungus. It's a protozoa. All right, so let's. Uh, focus on the structure of this protozoa okay yeah there is a nucleus in this and there is inside this is nucleus protozoa has a flagellum in it okay let's put a red dot for ribosomes these are your ribosomes the red ones okay the red ones are your ribosomes clear Okay, there are ribosomes. Put yellow as Golgi bodies. There are Golgi bodies. Okay, I'll discuss about what do you mean by Golgi body. Uh, green one, I can put like mitochondria. They have mitochondria. Okay, understood. Yeah, this is the basic structure of a protozoa. Now let's label them. Okay, uh, what do you mean by this? So this is your flagellum. Okay, this is your nucleus and let's consider the inside reddish one, this is your nucleolus, nucleolus, okay, these are your Golgi bodies, Golgi bodies, okay. Then uh, this is your mitochondria. This is very important. Mitochondria. Okay, that's your mitochondria. Then this is your ribosome. Okay, so this is the basic structure. You have to know about. Uh, protozoa they are single cell animal and their cell looks in this manner okay clear now let's go for the second group of microorganism and that is what algae all right uh, basically the structure of algae is 99% similar to protozoa the only difference of 1% is the algae they contain what chloroplast in their in their cell structure okay Otherwise, 99% of the structure is same. Okay, so let's draw it. See, the same structure as what? Protozoa. Okay, they have a flagellum as well. Okay, they have a nucleus. Clear? They have a nucleolus. This is your nucleolus. Clear? Uh, let's put it as ribosome as the red dot. These are your ribosomes. Understood? Okay. Uh, they even have Golgi bodies. This is your Golgi bodies. These are your Golgi bodies. Clear. Uh, there is what? Mitochondria in them. They have mitochondria in them. The only thing is uh, they have. Sorry. Let's put this as chloroplast because chloroplasts are green. Let's give this parts as chloroplast. Okay. This is the only difference. They have chloroplast in them. Chloroplast. Otherwise, all the 
things are present in algae as well. The only difference between algae and protozoa is in protozoa there is no chloroplast, in algae there are chloroplasts. Okay, so they are as a result they are greenish uh, microorganisms. Clear, there is no structural difference between algae and protozoa except the chloroplast. Alright, so let's move for fungi. Okay, now let's consider about what is a fungi. In fungi, there is some uh, difference between fungi and the protozoa structures. Okay, so let's draw it. So this is your fungi. Okay. Fungi, let's give the cell structure as round. Okay, uh, the main difference is there is a cell wall in fungi. There is a what? Cell wall. This, these are your cell wall which are present in what? In plant cell. So you can call fungi as a class of plant as well. Okay. So these are your cell wall. Clear? So uh, there is a nucleus. There is a nucleus in uh, fungi. So this is your nucleus. Alright. Uh, there is a nucleon. Clear? There is even a, uh, what, mitochondria, let's give it as yellow, so this is your mitochondria, okay, these are the mitochondria, alright, so, and there are even ribosomes, let's put it as blue, the ribosomes are blue, okay, so this is the way, now let's label them, this is your cell wall, This is your nucleus. That's your nucleus. Okay. That's your nucleus. This is your mitochondria. Okay. Clear. So this is the basic difference. Uh, one difference you can see there is no flagellum in fungi. Okay. Now let's go for bacteria. The bacteria one. Okay. What is the uh, structural difference between bacteria? The bacteria and fungi are similar. You can call them similar. Let's give it a round. The bacteria as well they have cell wall in it. They have what? cell wall in them okay clear yeah, this, this is the cell wall the only difference in bacteria is they have this kind of thread like structures in them okay you have uh, this kind of structures in them this is called fimbriae okay these are bacterial flagellums okay the flagellums are thread like structures that uh, help the microorganism to move Alright, uh, to change direction. Clear? Okay, see the basic difference is there is a RNA in bacteria. So, it is in this manner. It is a thread like you can call this as RNA. Okay, then another important uh, part of the bacteria is they have a plasmid DNA. They have a plasmid DNA. Uh, in my next videos on uh, microorganisms, we will be discussing about this plasmid. Okay, this is a very important part of bacteria. Because of this plasmid, it's, uh, it's been used industrially. We will come to that. Okay, genetic modification you can do. Understood? Uh, don't worry, uh, there is a plasmid in that. Okay? Uh, they have ribosomes. So, basically all the structures, they have ribosomes in them. Okay? Clear. Clear. So let's label them. them. So this is fimbrae. This is, this is new. None of the structures they have this. This is similar. This is flagellum. Okay. Flagellum. You can call it as bacterial flagellum. Uh, this is the main thing. This is RNA. Ribonucleic acid. Okay. This is your Plasmid DNA, we call it as plasmid DNA. Clear. And uh, the inside one is a ribosome. You don't need to uh, label it. Okay. Understood. Clear. All right. All right. So 
uh, virus is the only class of microorganism that is non living okay okay so now let's draw it so there is a round this round reddish structure we call it as membrane membrane envelope there is inside there is a structure okay the outer pair part you can call it as membrane envelope so this is the protective layer of the what virus okay membrane envelope you call it as membrane envelope okay the most important one is the rna in it there is rna you draw it in this manner okay this is the rna then another one there is a let's give it as greenish there is a protein coat inside the what virus this is the protein coat the greenish one is the protein coat protein coat uh, the reddish one is the m envelope uh, membrane envelope the blue is the what rna the blue part is the RNA. Okay, it's neither a living organism nor a what chemical. Uh, the protein coat and the RNA, the a virus has a coating which helps the virus to multiply very fast. Okay, inside there is nucleic acid. You can call this. Uh, the viral body is filled with nucleic acid. Okay, this is a kind of the viral body is filled with what? nucleic acid okay so this is your nucleic acid okay yeah we are done with all the structures okay the five class of microorganisms we we are done with the structures as you can see okay so the difference in the structure itself is the difference between the microorganisms understood clear okay so yeah you just have to know the structure of the microorganisms all right